go, wild camel. My name is John Hare and I run the Wild Camel Protection Foundation, which is a British NGO based in England. And uh, the mission is to save the critically endangered wild camel. The wild camel is a separate species of camel. It's a double hump camel. It lives in China and Mongolia. And there's approximately 600 in China and 450 in Mongolia. They're critically endangered because of man, basically. And the current problems are mining, illegal mining, uh, where people come into the reserve, both in China and in Mongolia, looking for minerals such as gold, copper, iron ore. And uh, in Mongolia, there's another problem, which is wolves. The wolf has increased uh, very much, and in China too, actually, because the local um, herdsmen have had all their weapons, all their shotguns taken away from them. And so the population of wolves has increased. And this uh, impacts on the wild camel when it gives birth. Uh, the wolf comes and kills the young camel shortly after it's given birth. Um, China is particularly interesting because the wild camel lives in a place called Lop Nor. And Lop Nor was the nuclear test area of China up until 1979. And they released 43 atmospheric nuclear tests of which over half were more powerful than the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. And the camel survived. And it also survives on salt water. Salt water which has a higher content of salt than seawater. Can you imagine? What an animal. Uh, Mongolia isn't quite the same. In Mongolia there is fresh water and it wasn't a nuclear test area. But at the same time they're being harassed by illegal miners. And as I said earlier, by wolves. So my mission for the foundation is to try as hard as we can to protect this amazing creature, which has a 3.5% genetic DNA difference from the domestic double hump camel, the Bactrian camel. In 2008, uh, samples which we sent to the uni veterinary university in Vienna after five years of DNA genetic testing they said this is a new and separate species, which separated from any other known form of camel 700,000 years ago. So that was a great boost for our charity. In Mongolia, we've set up a breeding center at a place called Zakin Us, and there are um, 22 wild camels at the breeding center, which was established in 2004 and now with eight camels, and now we have 22 in uh, 2014. So I would urge anybody who listens to this or, or happens to see this video to think very carefully about the wild camel. It's an amazing creature. Very few people know about it. And it survives just in Mongolia and China. If you can, help the Wild Camel Protection Foundation, which is the only charity in the world committed to protecting solely the wild camel. www.wildcamels.com Thank you.